Today is Kentucky's 230th birthday, and to celebrate, the Fraser History Museum opened a brand new exhibit. It's called The Commonwealth, Did I, Divided We Fall. Addie Miners gives us a look at the exhibit and the history behind it. The most recognized song in the English language Happy to you. was written by two Kentucky sisters, Patty and Mildred Hill. And this clock was a symbol of freedom to those traveling the Underground Railroad. But these are just a few of the hundreds of stories being told at the Fraser History Museum's newest exhibit, The Commonwealth, Divided We Fall. The exhibit takes a deep dive into the history of the state, from millions of years ago when it was covered with unfamiliar creatures to when it was the home of Native American tribes and the state's history in the Civil War. The museum's president, Andy Trinan, says the goal was to create an exhibit that encapsulated the entirety of Kentucky's history. This is your history. And it's your history, and it's your history. This is our history, and it's really important to us that everyone who goes into this exhibit with any sense of pride about any part of Kentucky feels that they're represented inside. Governor Andy Bashir and First Lady Brittany Bashir attended the grand opening Wednesday to honor the state's 230th birthday, which is June 1st. They walked through the exhibit and said it covers everything, good and bad. There are a lot of historic moments that are captured in this exhibit and making sure that uh, we learn about them, uh, learn from them, uh, helps us get that next historic moment right. The Commonwealth exhibit will serve as the starting point for the Kentucky Bourbon Trail, which Governor Bashir says is the perfect way to show off what the state has given to the world. This is truly a place where the world meets Kentucky. And in so many ways, the Fraser provides an outstanding introduction to who we are. From the Fraser History Museum, I'm Addie Miners, WLKY News. And the exhibit that Addie showed us is a permanent fixture at the museum. It's open seven days a week.